To get the best results when painting metal, you need to take a few precautions and choose a really good quality paint. Here I have a couple of brackets that I've knocked up for a specific job. These are going to be used outside, so we need a really good quality paint to go on these, which will stop them from rusting and will protect it for years to come. Rust-Oleum have been making paint to protect metal for a long time. I have used Rust-Oleum paint in industry on large jobs and it does an absolute fantastic job. It's easy to apply and it gives you a really good finish that lasts for years. For that reason I'm going to use Rust-Oleum primer and then I'm going to use Rust-Oleum painter's touch for the top coat. Although you could probably spray primer directly onto these brackets it's not a good idea. It's always a good idea to clean them first. This is brand new metal, but it will still be dirty. It'll have oil deposits on it, grease deposits. So it's always a good idea to clean those off first. So I've put some chemical gloves on. I've now got a clean rag and some methylated spirits. So we're gonna give these a wipe. And immediately you will see that a lot of dirt has come off that steel already. If you'd have left that on, your paint may not adhere correctly to the metal, so it's always a good idea just to clean it off. You can use most spray paint inside, but it's not a good idea because of the fumes and the overspray. So we're now just gonna nip outside and we're gonna spray the brackets outside. Before you start spraying using a primer, it's important that you give your can a really good shake. If you shake it up, you can hear a ball bearing in there that actually mixes the paint. So we're going to give this a good vigorous shake for at least one minute. So we can now start spraying. It's important that when you do this, that you don't keep your finger pressed down on the button all the time. If you do that, too much paint's going to come out. You're better off doing light, quick sprays. If you miss anything, you can always go back later on. You can give it a few light coats rather than giving it one thick, heavy coat where you're gonna get runs. And you can see that I'm using a dust sheet here to protect my workbench. When you've finished using your spray can, it's a good idea to invert it and press the button until the paint stops coming out. And that will clear any paint from inside of the nozzle, it'll stop it from blocking up. So the primer is now dry on the brackets and we're now going to give them a top coat of Painter's Touch. This particular colour is blue. Before you use this, again you need to give it a really good shake for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to apply the paint using short, quick bursts.
Again, when we're finished, we're going to invert the can and spray it to clear out the nozzle. So you can see that that has given us a really good high quality gloss finish and that will last four years.